All right, welcome back, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Um, I know what you're thinking. That's got to be a fake tweet. No way the thumbnail is real, right? Somebody manipulated the tweet. Somebody inspect element to change the text. That's not a real tweet. Well, I'm here to tell you it is 100% real. And the reason I know is because it was tweeted about 30 minutes ago and I saw it happen. I should have started recording instantly, to be honest, but I waited for a bit. You know, I, I let the chaos ensue. And uh, if you didn't know, the 8th of March is is International Women's Day, a day where women are cherished, loved, and celebrated. So you might be asking, what caused one of the biggest fast food companies in the world to just straight up go full-on rogue sexist mode? Well, I'd like to imagine they're not actually sexist, at least I hope. Um, they clarified the very next tweet what their intention with this was, but uh, as you know, Twitter.com will not look at the next tweet. People love getting mad about things, and Burger King PR just decided to stab themselves in the neck. Pretty much Burger King wanted to make an announcement, so they needed a lot of attention, so yeah, they, they, fo they found the uh, quote-unquote best way to do it. I mean, I gotta say, it worked. You got 100% attention eyeball balls on you but uh uh, I don't I don't think it was the best PR move. But yeah, before we start, if you do enjoy these videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So it all starts off with the glorious tweet, women belong in the kitchen. I swear to God, somebody's gonna take that out of context. But yeah, let's look at the continuation. Burger King tweets out, if they want to, of course, yet only 20% of chefs are women. We're on a mission to change the gender ratio in the restaurant industry by empowering female employees with the opportunity to pursue a culinary career. Hashtag international Women's Day. Okay, so you're starting to see why exactly they did this. They just wanted the attention so they could make their announcement. But my god, let me just tell you, Burger King is trending and it's not for a good reason. And then they have their third and final tweet saying, we are proud to be launching a new scholarship program which will help female Burger King employees pursue their culinary dreams. All right, so they wanted to announce this new scholarship and they decided the best way to do that is make a sexist statement. Now listen, to most people, this is obviously just a little joke and you know, the, the tweets are like right after that. It's in the same thread. So if you're going to read it, you might as well read the whole thing. So the whole thing taken together, obviously it's positive and you know, it's for International Women's Day. But the thing with Twitter is that's not how it works because the original tweet has 50,000 likes and the two tweets below it have like 10,000 and like 5,000, which means one of two things. Either majority of people, like 40,000 people didn't even see like the bottom two tweets or they, they saw the tweet and said, Hey, um, I, I want a story, so I'm just gonna ignore it and get mad about this. Listen, to any other fast food companies or any companies in any matter whatsoever, I wouldn't recommend this approach because although you're getting publicity, it is majorly negative publicity. Even KFC Gaming responded saying the best time to delete this post was immediately after posting it. The second best time is now and they edited the meme with their mascot. I mean, I feel like at this point you're so far gone, there's no point even deleting the tweet. I mean, you you've kept it up and it's like, okay, the damage is done. And like, if you look at regular Burger King tweets, they don't get that many likes at all. So this one getting like 60,000 in like 30 minutes, that's insane. The majority of people replied to the original tweet saying, oh my God, how could you possibly do this? Which is like, don't tell me you didn't see the tweet right below it. Like, it's impossible to actually reply to that tweet without seeing the tweet below it. So don't give me that BS. But I definitely agree it's a terrible idea to tweet this because it's just gonna backfire in your face. Now, another thing Burger Burger King wanted to do was uh, clarify a bunch because they're on like full damage control mode now. Pretty much all the people in the replies are saying, oh my god, Burger King is sexist. I'm eating at McDonald's. So they're replying to them and trying to clarify. Why would we delete a tweet that's drawing attention to a huge lack of female representation in our industry? We thought you'd be on board with this as well. We've launched a scholarship to help give more of our female employees the chance to pursue a culinary career. Why have they said like copy pasted this exact same statement in, in like every single tweet. May maybe switch up the words as well. This was their reply to KFC Gaming, by the way. All right, so here we have this tweet, which I was super confused by. I was like, why does this have so many likes? I just didn't understand it. So this person says, I'm not sexist. Being sexist is wrong and being wrong is for women. And, and, then, I and then I realized what he said. This is the ultimate double whammy. I'm not sexist. Okay, good. Because it's wrong and being wrong is for women. So you're, oh my God, this, this, is, this is a big brain 
fucking player right here. Here we have a random e-girl that replied to Burger King saying, On International Women's Day, send me money right now. You know, Burger King would unironically actually send her money and a bunch of people will probably send her money. That's just how Twitter works. I remember seeing a tweet the other day of this girl just making up this huge, gigantic story. Even I fell for it, to be honest. I was like, oh my god, this is, this is so bad. We need to help her. And then she started, like, this petition and, like, GoFundMe or whatever. Everybody donated. And then, like, the next day she comes out with the tweet saying, gotcha. I'm literally like, bro, these people are actually evil, dude. They, get, they gain, like, the sympathy of the internet and, you know, they appeal to your emotion and then they just turn around. I mean, obviously, nothing related to this tweet. I'm just sharing a story. Here we have another person saying, I won't be eating at your store again. Thanks. Bro, listen, I genuinely don't understand these people. Listen, I don't eat at Burger King, but I'm just saying, like, I eat at McDonald's, right? So if McDonald's, like, slapped me in the face, I would still eat at McDonald's because you can't stay away. Also, I don't care what the heck their company does. As long as the burgers taste good, I'm gonna eat there, okay? People honestly try to love and, like, boycott these gigantic companies as if you stopping eating at Burger King is gonna do anything. They probably got 5,000 more customers the second you left. And, like, if you read the tweets after it, obviously Burger King does not want to be sexist. In fact, they introduced, like, a scholarship, scholarship right? Somebody tagged the canceler bot? I, I don't know what the canceler bot is. Is there a bot that cancels people? Bro, give me one of these bots, bro. I, I got a couple people I want taken care of. Here we have someone saying, we know you're doing this for controversy. Expect it better from a large company than to use toxic marketing. This tweet got ratioed multiple times as well. <laughs> I mean, listen, if you're sat here actually, like, offended by this, they're obviously memeing. So somebody made this comparison spot on. Read the reply. Totally misses the point. Imagine tweeting something racist and then saying, only joking. I feel like this is kind of a bad comparison because, you know, women in the kitchen is like this meme, right? You'll literally see 13-year-old girls saying it as well. Being girls, you know? It's not something like super piercing and mean, like, you know, tweeting out the N-word or something. I feel like comparing that to something like this is just completely different. Shameful Burger King. Absolutely bang out of order. Okay, this is a British lady. On Women's Day, no less. Somebody said, what was the thought process behind this and on Women's Day? Our thought process is that women are shockingly underrepresented. Thank you, Burger King. And we thought it was time we did something about it. We've created a scholarship. Okay, dude, I get it, I get it. If you legitimately go to like Burger King tweets and replies, they've tweeted this about 30 times to like 30 separate like individuals. Why would you do this? Just make another tweet saying, bruh, uh, didn't mean that. Maybe delete the original tweet and say, Oh god. Sorry guys, we fricked up. Nobody can take a joke anymore. Here we have this person saying, That's it. I'm never eating at your restaurant ever again. Hashtag cancel Burger King. There's a reply to this saying ratio with 1,000 likes. I feel like this has got to be a meme, right? There's no way people are actually like, never eating at Burger King now. I mean, I can give you plenty of reasons never to eat at Burger King, but being sexist is probably not one of them. Always knew Burger King belongs in the trash and they're calling like Thanos. Uh, what belongs in the trash is the last Lack of female. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, they're cringe. Listen, I don't know anything about the culinary industry. They, okay, they need female representation, whatever. But Burger King makes it so cringe, bro. What belongs in the trash, fellas, is... La that's like, what belongs in the trash is being rude to others. Ah, Wow, Burger King really, really changing the landscape here. This was probably my favorite tweet of the video. Stan Twitter gonna cancel Burger King now. Finally. They will lose some weight, maybe. <laughs> it's a Rock Lee. Rock Lee 668. Now, here we have a check mark who responded saying, Absolutely. Women not knowing how to cook is a major contributor to the decline of Western civilization. Thanks for helping point them back in the right direction, Burger King. I, I assume this is sarcastic, right? Here we have popular streamer Miskiff responding saying, Look what you did to me. Fellows, this is the product of eating a Burger King. Now, listen, I gotta just acknowledge, like, out of all the baits I've seen on Twitter.com, People tweet out controversial stuff all the time to get, like, attention, but, like, Burger King, dude, the galaxy brain goddamn bait, and, like, they waited for the perfect moment, they waited for International Women's Day. It really doesn't get any better bait than that. Here we have someone pointing out the obvious, do you think there might be a problem with the first tweet reaching 15 times as many eyeballs as a second? I mean, that's just how it is, that's just Twitter, man, they, they make it so easy to, like, get angry about things. Honestly, I feel like even if they, like, tweeted it in the same, like, tweet 
people will still get mad because they'll read like their first sentence and then forget to read the rest of the paragraph. Or they'll read the entire thing and be like, why did you include that in the tweet in the first place? It's kind of like what authors do, what YouTubers do. It's like, you know, a catchy, catchy little intro type of thing, right? Something to grab your attention so that everybody's talking about it. And honestly, it did work. Here I am, YouTuber Pegasus talking about Burger King. You got me. I don't know how many people are going to watch this video, but I'll, I'll put a rough estimate of about 100,000. So that's about 100,000 more eyeballs on Burger King. I don't know for good, good or bad. You can decide yourself. Anyways, fellas, that's about it. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash the like button, you know, free burgers, $1 million in your bank account. I assure you, just hit subscribe. Comment below what you thought about all of this. Do you think Burger King is sexist? All right, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.